playing Euro Truck Simulator 2 again. We're sitting here outside the truck at a garage in the fog and rain. And um, we got ourselves a little trip picked out to go from where we are in the very east side of Poland now to go to Paris. Because I haven't been to Paris yet. So we're going to take some glass panels there. Which should be fun. And you're going to break them off. And who's that? I should look over to the passenger <laughs> seat. It's like there's nobody there, but there are voices. <laughs> that's because I am the truck itself. Oh, well, that's a different <laughs> idea. We could work with that. Hold. No good. So then you could blame me for <sighs> when you crash. Yeah, maybe. Actually, right <laughs> now I would blame this weather. I mean, I can't see a thing. I think night driving's bad. <laughs> There's literally it's very dark. Yeah, I know. I got a black screen on this end. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Is it still black? There. No, it's not. No, it's you uh, trying to straighten yourself out. I <laughs> did not. <sighs> Anywho, we can't even see what we're picking up here. This is going to be... I don't oh, think I've ever seen really this much <laughs> Uh, So this is the one that we're going for. Glass panels, 15 tons. And you're, and you're bringing glass panels. I'm not going to be able to even see where you're going. It's going to be interesting. Yep, yeah, should be fun. Got to keep challenging. This asshole's gonna swerve right into you and break them all. Got to keep it challenging. Now that's <laughs> an interesting point, actually, because maybe I should have said who we're talking to. Where am I going? Driving around like an idiot right now. Um, you confusing me. I'm not used to doing this with a passenger. Oh, it's gonna be a long trip then. <laughs> passenger. Are we if there? you watch other videos on my channel, you may recognize her voice. It's Glitter Mocha. And she's here because we're going to be talking a little bit about Battlefield 4 in a bit. But first, uh, I wanted to talk about a couple things in this game. I have a couple of mods installed. This is something actually inspired by um, the Squirrel's Nuts <laughs> that he did on his uh, live stream on the weekend. He used something called the Mega Mod Pack, which comes with trailers and... AI changes and different vehicle changes and all kinds of stuff. So you can already see those cars look very different. That's like a some sort of fancy. Yeah. <laughs> so that's new, um, including you know all new company names, realistic company names, and um, just a, a whole slew of changes that are in this mod pack. It's like a gigabyte in size. Uh, so I turned off all the other trailer mods, just left that one on so far, so good. Oh, it is really hard to see anything. Can't wait to get out of this Polish soup. <laughs> hmm. Oh, now that my cats are out of the way from the TV... You can actually play Battlefield 4 again? Yeah, maybe I'll play some commander mode. I should really slow if down. If it'll let me find any. Oh, I should probably use windshield wipers too. There we go. That's a what I thought. So Battlefield 4 has been out for what? How long has it been now? Two weeks? Yeah. <coughs> Just about. Take. Just about two weeks. We've played a bit of it on Xbox. It's um. You've been pretty much playing two completely different versions of it then, right? Yeah, with the PC, yeah. In a way. <laughs> yeah, there's some fairly major changes. Or differences, rather. But it feels very different. But the launch has been nothing but shaky, to say the least, I think. Yeah. We would agree with that. I mean, Xbox is freezing, PC servers crashing. They've, they've worked a lot on the stability of the servers on the PC side. We'll have to give them credit yeah, for that. Yeah, hopefully that will carry over to consoles eventually. Or at least for whoever gets next gen. Well, but it'll still suck. So I hope they can at least make it play more playable on the 360 than it has been. We haven't seen a lot of server crashes on the 360, but we've seen a lot of yeah, console crashes. Yeah, a lot of console crashes. crashes. Yeah. Yep. And almost every time it's um during a map change. Well, I saw somebody tweeting the other day about TV missiles making their console freeze. Well, I had it happen to me yesterday twice trying to play Commander, just at random, seemingly, it screwed up, so... 
Hmm, that hasn't happened to me just yet. <laughs> Hopefully it won't at all. It's frustrating enough sometimes. Especially when you're playing with friends and it's like constantly somebody's console going down. <laughs> it's hard enough to get us all in there together. On the same team together, in the same squad together. Right, because for whatever reason they took away the ability to squad up before you joined a server. You used to be able to just get four people into a squad and then the squad leader picks a game and everybody follows. They took that yep. away. I know there's battle log, and that's what you kind of you have to join people through battle log now, pretty much. Yeah. But I don't see the. It, it's still more difficult because, especially right now, maybe it's because the game is new and popular at the moment. But it's yeah, hard to get in. Yeah, uh, games are just filling up so fast. Like, like we noticed, we joined games with one person in it. This Three guy. of us added it, started the match up, and within 60 seconds, the whole game's full. <laughs> yeah, that's really the only way to do it when you have a couple of people. Otherwise. You can get maybe one person and maybe a second to join on that person before the game's full. Because yep. everything's capped at 20... Well, there's a few games of game modes, I guess, but 24, is there? But Yeah. I thought that was weird, though, the whole change from 24 players in some of those game modes to 20. Like, even Domination's only 20 people. Mm -hmm. TDM. Yep. That's crazy. So I know it took us a little while to actually have fun in the game. Yeah, but I think we we'll get used to. Yeah, it's it's figuring out what game modes work well and definitely think if I ever get a next gen console or a PC, I'd be playing completely different game modes and classes and everything than I do on here. Yeah, probably, huh? Just because the experience would be different. Well, I find the game modes that I enjoy on PC are vastly different game modes than I enjoy on console. I like playing Conquest on PC, I can't stand it on consoles for some reason. Yeah, I tried playing a little earlier today, I think I made it through like one and a half games. And just wasn't feeling it. <laughs> I have to run for ten miles by myself to get sniped from the top of a rooftop or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yay, fun! <laughs> you got a favorite map yet? Um... Uh, it differs, but depending on what I'm playing, I think. The only like, game mode. Or, or... Uh, like right, I, I'm thinking Commander because I'm trying to find a. What the fuck is going on here? Right see, see, you can see this this madness live, like these. What is that? Just it's just <laughs> trucks driving into intersections without stopping. <laughs> and then they all end up in front of me, slowing me down. This is a motorcycle. What? What? I've never, that's, <laughs> oh, yeah, you're, never seen that you're before. You're gonna crash because it's seeing some like weird ass cargo. Probably. This is actually a very cool mod. Pretty sure I saw like a Hummer looking cargo by yeah. after. I um I will link this in the video description. I would recommend this mod actually. Um, instead of having all, I have like f 25 mod Lightning files in there. Is that what I saw? Yeah. Lightning. Oh. You don't. You can't. You can see what you can't hear, but there's a thunderstorm going on. So. Um, yeah, this mod's pretty neat. You don't have to have all these different mods installed. Like, I had one installed before that gives me sort of more interesting trailers, and another one that changes all the fake company names to real company names. This one kind of covers everything, right? Seems A to be. Everything. So far. <laughs> but yeah, I think my um, favorite map to play on Commander so far has to be flood zone, which is weird because there's days where playing it on foot or playing it in the game, I can't stand it. But there's days that I really love it too. But on Commander, I love it because I just rack up kills the whole game instead of just sitting there not feeling like I'm doing a whole lot. I find flood zone seems to be the most polarizing map amongst people from what I've seen. People either love it or yep. hate it. It's not much of an in-between. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard people talk about how intense the rooftop fights are, and and then also people complain about just how much of a clusterfuck it all is, and I guess yeah. it's true. It's a bit of both. Um, yep. And the game, what makes a big difference, that map on Rush is really difficult. There's a lot to do with the crowd that you end up mixed in with, too. That's true. But there's games I go in, and they're, com they're played completely opposite to each other. There's, like, earlier I was playing... And everybody was kind of um, spread out amongst the map, going around taking flags. And then the next game I played, domination of domination on the same map. 
there was two full squads just up in one corner of the map, just on the rooftops mm -hmm. as snipers. No, nobody on the enemy team like running around taking flags. So we kicked their ass, but it was a little annoying at the same time <laughs> too. Yeah, it can be. Like they weren't putting up a fight, but they were kind of kicking our ass. I haven't played much of the. I haven't played a lot of domi um, not domination, um, obliteration yet. I should probably uh, play some more of that. Yeah, there's a few game modes I, I ha honestly haven't even touched yet. You know, every time we. Uh, <laughs> every time we talk, um, we see a search and. I wanted to say search and destroy. Um, a diffuse server, we go, no, but we should actually give it a try. I, at some yeah. point, it reminds me of. Um, well, the whole element of you die, you die. For the rest of that round is is interesting. Where are we? We're going to through uh, Warsaw. I don't think we've been here yet before either. I don't want to go to the external cameras to get to get the glass panels. And the cityscape in the background. <laughs> yeah, and there's a FedEx truck. So this mod actually. Yeah, it, it definitely does what a couple other ones do. And I still have the uh, fall mod installed, so the trees are kind of brown and yellow and stuff. But um, pretty soon it will be time for the winter mod, the snow mod. I saw a Paul using it on the stream <coughs> yesterday too. Looks like you're driving through Boston or something. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it'll be interesting that they are working on a game, uh, an American simulator, American truck simulator, not an American simulator. That would be an interesting game. <laughs> Simulate to know, be I'm an American. To see what New, New England places will look like in that. From You're what? Gonna have to get it. Oh, I will definitely. <laughs> from, from what they've said, they're going to be starting it in um, California, I guess, and then expand from there. You've got some good brakes on that truck. <laughs> yeah, and I just realized that I need to turn right here. Hope, hope you reached your arm across when you slammed on your brakes like that. You know, <laughs> since you have a passenger in the car. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I didn't want to steal George's dad's move, so... <laughs> Shit, we're in the wrong lane. I'm gonna see if we don't can bully ourselves over here. Fellow trucker, will you let me pass? Yes, you will. Yes, you will. I was gonna say, sometimes that doesn't work so well when you have these mods on. The AI's like, no! <laughs> well, I the AI first. is usually so asleep that it doesn't know what's going on half the time, but... <laughs> They're working on a patch for that to improve the uh, AI, and it really it can't come soon enough. Um, I was driving around yesterday or the day before, and um, you know I was going a bit fast, I'll admit, but but still, cars just will just merge in front of me. Like I wouldn't trust this guy to not all of a sudden merge in front of me for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> and then you know you. You can't stop. There's just no way. It's just not happening. I don't like how people drive around here. Yeah, I know. I've heard some people talk <laughs> about how this is exactly realistic. They all do exactly what you <laughs> wouldn't think they do. Fuck. Would do because it's just. Is there a speed camera it. there? Good job. I knew it was going to be. I was going to have to slow down anyway, so I wasn't going to be speeding for long. I should take that into consideration. <laughs> Only speeding for a short while. In any case, AI changes should help because I have a feeling, you know, a lot of people add <coughs> cool looking truck trailers like that, that's cool. <clears throat> but it's probably pretty difficult for people to modify the AI of other cars in the game. So, we'll see how they. It seriously takes like five that. minutes for me to load into this game. Oh, I have a cruise missile already. Nice. The loading times in BF4 are very sporadic. Very sporadic. And it's. At least it loads into the menus fast now. You don't have to wait forever through some seizure-inducing intro. Oh, three guys heading for the B flag. Four, five. Come on, pile up on there so I can use this cruise missile. So you're playing as commander. Yep. And... Oh, the jeep going down the bottom, too. What do you I think of commander I mode? I was rather disappointed when I found out that... You can't just do it in a browser. For some reason, I was under the impression that you'd be able to do that, because when they talked about having it on tablets and stuff, I was like, oh, I'm sure you can just run some sort of mobile app on the computer. 
Command. I know, and I'm always so surprised when, like, even loading it in the game. Here's another motorcycle. It takes so freaking long, and I'm like, why does it take it so long? <laughs> I, oh, shit. I don't, I don't, I don't mean to run him off the road. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh, I killed somebody with it. Only one, though. Is that a police vehicle? Here, guys, have some ammo. What is this? This vehicle looks like it has, um... It's got lights on top. Why did we all slow down so much? This is the other thing, they just slow down so suddenly. It's like the speed limit changes and... <clears throat> bam. It is, it's a police car. In front of me. Oops, 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 oops. This is a bad way to be driving a truck. <clears throat> oh. Oh no, they're gonna take my my cruise missile flag. Kill him. <laughs> Let's see if I can take a quick screenshot here. <clears throat> Let's go to the photo studio. I want to take a picture of the um, police vehicle. <clears throat> there he is. Policia. Except in Kill it. Polish. There's actually a guy in here and he's wearing a um ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> oh, I hope that chopper stays over the B flag because my cruise missile will hit it. How's this for oh, no, a screenshot? He flew away. This isn't a bad screenshot. There was no enemies there. No kill for me. Good thing he's in front of me, huh? Not behind you. Yeah, well, <laughs> judging by his outfit, he's he's got no actual authority about anything. I think he might have just stolen that van. <laughs> I don't think he paid for his toll either. Six pounds, six euros oh. rather. Oh, they took my cruise missile. How do you find that? Uh, that system of having different capture points control what assets you have as a commander. Oh, there's times where I like it, and there's other times where I absolutely hate it. You feel like you it... can't force people to do what you need them to do. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Have you? You're supposed to be able to talk to the rest of the team over VoIP, right? I think so. I've never tried. Neither have I. I always found that. Because usually when I play it, it's just like as something to chill out and do. Mm -hmm. When I don't feel like squad enough with anybody. I know that uh, Tony once pointed out that he likes the commander mode, but he wasn't really ever sure if the squads were following his orders because he gave them, or if they were just going to be doing that anyways because it made yeah, sense. Exactly. It's a little hard to know. <clears throat> Aside from There's cruise missiles and stuff. It comes up saying order accepted, though, and I don't know if they push something. I know to on PC happen. you do. I've seen that happen there, where you actually get an order, and then when you bring up the combo rows, one of the options. If you're a squad leader, in fact, and there's a commander, if you hold down RB... Oh, so there's some people out there that are actually paying attention there. Yeah. <laughs> you, as a squad leader, you can request orders, or you can request a resupply. You can you can do all that. Um, yeah, I don't know how many people do that. I know I've been asked on Twitter before if there's a good tutorial video about how the commander mode works, and um, there probably is. It's a Kit Kat van. <laughs> I, oh, Guys, I'm hungry. Get the flag. It's a pickup truck. These, this mod is awesome. They've done some really good stuff in here. <laughs> oh, my team's losing horribly. There's another toll road. See, there's a pickup truck. There's a minivan. There's some sort of SUV. Somebody's taking the flag back. Good. You guys still don't even stand a chance of winning this round, but... It's actually a... Um, a this time I get to kill a couple people. A lot of North American <laughs> cars. Stay. That's right. No more rain. So we've probably played mostly TDM and Domination on the okay, Xbox. cruise missile, and there's about two or three people that are going to pile up underneath it. 
I find it difficult oh, to aim those here things. <laughs> I find it really difficult to aim those cruise missiles because well, everything snaps to I, other stuff. That's why I play this on Flood Zone only. Why? I just got four of them. <laughs> no, three people. Is it easier to get people targeted on that map? Because you just aim at the cruise missile flag, the oh, okay. B flag. Everybody piles up on that rooftop area on Flood Zone. So when they go to take that one flag that's on, actually on the rooftops, they all die. <laughs> it never fails. There's always somebody there. It does make a big difference when teams have a commander, though, I find. Even if it's just passive stuff like UAVs and yeah. gunships. And I'll see somebody face one way on the map. I put up a UAV and they spin right around to the guy that just got spotted behind them. Yeah, it's fun when you can actually tell that teams are not only listening but benefiting from the orders you're giving. I've watched the um, Levolution happen from 3D mode, uh, 3D view before. It's kind of cool. Just watch it from like overhead. Nice. Look, there's cows. Should have honked at them. <laughs> I am driving way too fast, but the weather's cleared up. And we have. My cruise missile is not reloading. There was a helicopter. There's a helicopter. I swear, there was a helicopter there. I really like this mod, it adds a lot of cool things to it. And a lot more traffic too, that's the other thing it does, it adds more traffic. Like if you're just looking at cars on yeah, the oncoming lanes. Yeah, I noticed, lanes. it seems like this car's galore everywhere. Mm -hmm. My cruise missile's not reloading at all. Did you lose the flag, maybe? No, we have it. We've had it the whole time, it hasn't reloaded at all. Hmm. It's just grayed out. Strange. That's cool. It's a great glitch, guys. <laughs> ah, she got three kills already. She can't have no more of those. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Sorry, you have reached your maximum cruise missile kills for the round. <laughs> that wasn't the case earlier today. See, like, any one of these is going to merge in front of me. I just feel it. Especially when I try to pass somebody else. Oh, he wants some ammo. Oh! This is the one that's paying attention. I'm gonna keep your squad highlighted because I like you. <laughs> you can definitely tell when squads are paying attention to the commander and when they don't. Damn, you just got me so many points from that supply drop. There was a Hummer, by the way, you're right. There's another one right here. And sometimes when I'm playing on Flood Zone, I'll drop a vehicle on the rooftops. <laughs> They're probably like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, really? I, that's sort of weird that they even have that option. I know! Why in Flood Zone? What the fuck? What do they need a little Jeep. ATV yeah. for? Is it ATVs that are being dropped? I think so. <laughs> That's why I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I guess I'm not getting no more cruise missiles. That's awesome. So I'm going to have to let them take that flag. And then eh, retake. Game's almost over. What's your favorite What's class see? when you're playing, when you're not playing as commander? Hmm. I've actually had more fun being more, like, well-rounded in this game because of the fact that some of the car bearings are pretty nice. That's made a big difference, right? Having those across classes, I feel like no matter what class but I think find something. still would probably say support and assault. Assault and support. Look at you this know traffic. Mean, I played an engineer the other day. I was not having fun with that stupid what is it, the something law, the first rocket launcher the thing. The MBT yeah. law. Yes. The times there it was doing one damage to some of the things I was shooting. Yeah, was I like that missile launcher because you don't have to be 100% accurate and it will kind of jump at its target at the end. However, I've seen it veer off your intended target and hit an empty jeep that's parked next to it. That's kind of frustrating. Dropped a boat for him and he didn't take it. There's definitely more traffic here than I'm used to. All these toll stations. Uh, there's another part of this mod actually that takes away the. Well, it doesn't take away the toll stations. It takes away the toll gates, so you don't actually have to stop and pay. And even if you went and stopped and paid, it charges you zero euro. But I didn't want to huh. take that one out. I don't mind the tolls. If I find it adds a little bit of something. I know that some people, when they play with oversized trailers, have trouble where the gate actually closes halfway on the trailer before you get all the way through. <laughs> I've never had that happen though, so luckily. I saw that happen to Squirrel in a stream and it literally, the game, like the gate closed 
on his trailer, and then the game just violently shook his truck up and down, basically slammed it around until it was 100% <laughs> broken. It was really bizarre <laughs> and uh, extremely funny to look at. So there's some weird things that happen in this game too, but I'm hoping they'll come up with another DLC soon. Doesn't have to be more maps, but maybe more trucks or, or something. I've bought um, a bunch of garages, by the way. Now I think I have 27 drivers working for me now. So money is coming in a little bit more steadily without me having to do much, which is nice. What is? Why is everything blinking like that? Because they're all being stolen from you. They're taking away all your bases. No, everything's. Oh, they want to be ordered? Is that what they're, um, they're telling possibly. me? Possibly. I don't really know. They did not do a good like, job of go? having documentation. Just go to a fucking flag. <laughs> when you get close enough to it, then I'll order you to it, because I'm not going to know what you're going to do until you actually get close to it. Nobody wants to kill this high-value target that I marked either. There was one time I marked a guy... I was talking to you, right? And nobody killed him for, like, almost a whole game. Uh, yes, I remember. You <laughs> marked him a high-value target just because he was guy? bugging you so much you wanted to get rid of him. <laughs> uh, well, we lost that one. And I'm paying another toll. Okay, I'm starting to slowly regret what I said about me liking the toll stations because there's a lot of them here. Just stop and go. <laughs> Have another five bucks. How much for speeding there? Yeah. Can't you just can't you just take it out of my account or something like that? I think I've already gotten... Here I go, by the way, texting and driving stars. the truck again. This is probably a really bad idea, and this is speed camera, but I'm pretty sure that I'm going <laughs> slow enough. Oh, what's that person listening to out there? Oh, oh, oh. They should actually just make... Uh, when people take um, driving lessons... You know, as kids, they should put them in a simulator like this with an actual wheel and and all yeah. that stuff and make them text or Facebook or stuff like that. Just to get an idea of how easy it is to um, lose control. Yep. I agree. And actually, I, uh, I, I heard Squirrel talk about this and I agree with him. He said that they should also make them drive a truck simulator like this just to teach people a little bit more about how to respect trucks on the road yeah. as other drivers because you know once if you've ever I've I haven't driven a um a large truck like this but I've driven a sort of medium sized truck before where you still have a lot of the same principles like you just can't see that well beside you and behind you and when people you know cram up on you and tailgate you and stuff like that it makes it a lot more difficult because you don't want to hit anybody, but if you can't see them, you know. Yeah, exactly. A lot of places they can't see driving them things. Exactly. This is a Mercedes and girls. Okay, everybody, go take the C flag, then I'll put up the gunship, and then we can go for the other flags. No, because then everybody will get in the gunship and nobody will be playing anymore. <laughs> It's a UPS delivery van. It's a very, uh, very good mod. I have heard, though, that if you're using it with certain other mods, it may crash certain things. Um, but to be honest, you don't really need any of the other mods. It adds real vehicles. Don't you dare. <laughs> he thought about it. He did, too, that little shit. Like, should I or shouldn't I? <laughs> they don't value their lives, not even like real drivers, so. Kitty, lay down or get off. You can't be in front of me. <laughs> lay down, don't just sit there, put your head down. Oh, guess what? Another toll station, just to make sure we're still alive and awake. 
This is like their version of speed bumps, I think. Oh, kitty, I can't see. And then these guys start going so slow for no apparent reason. Like, you don't have to... This guy's going to hit the barrier if he keeps going. Let's go, bro. Come on. Shit. Come on, take this tank out already. Oh, God, they took B. That's not good. Who's over there? Let me scan. Oh, there's lots of guys over there. Guys. Guys. <laughs> Get him. After they all finally ran for D. So Battlefield Premium members will get their first DLC already pretty soon, here in a couple of weeks. It's gonna be nice. interesting. I don't know. I mean, I've, some people are really high up in rank already, but I feel like I still have... Uh, a lot of time to play with the current weapons and current maps and stuff. It almost seems too soon for more content already. We're now crossing the border. Yeah, I feel like I barely even scratched the surface of. Into Germany and see, the unless the pole, unlike the pole stations, you don't have to stop here. Just come on through. Oh, I'm probably gonna take it for speeding here. Why can't you be in the slow lane? And why did you pick that color for your car? It's ridiculously nasty. It's like a puke Attack yellow. Attack this objective. What are you do- Oh, they're camping on top of the rooftop. Oh, see <laughs> if you guys get anything from me for the entire game. Oh shit, they're all on C. We still have 17 hours to go in the game, and it's already been a half an hour recording. We're going to have to get a nap here soon anyway, so we'll probably take a break from the video halfway okay. through. But if your commander ring is still going well, we'll just continue recording the second part right after. All right. The weather is so nice right now. Blue sky, clouds. Farm countryside. No more fog. No more fog. Uh, going as fast as we can. <laughs> this is horrible. This is a really, really bad time to be texting. Come on, guys. I love not having another commander on the other team, too. As terrible as that is. <laughs> well, it gives you an advantage, doesn't it? Hey, given my, having my scan UAVs blocked. Yeah. <laughs> I have noticed okay, some commanders not really understand what they do, though, and then they just place their own yeah, UAV. Yeah, they come anywhere. Yeah. We'll just do an EMP EM over But they need something. I think the game should have had something that helps a little bit more with the explanation of of what's what and how these things work. Yep. A little like commander tutorial mode or something. Yeah, because they have the test range, but they they really would have needed a test range, I think, for uh, for commander mode as well. I think that might have been yeah. good actually. You know, I mean, the YouTube community is going to create countless videos and explanations on how they how they work and all that, but still. Oh, I can give ammo to somebody. Guess who it's not going to be? This is going to be a good test of the AI, and wow, they, maybe there is a change to the AI in this mod because. Usually that guy in front of me would have just stopped and come to a complete standstill. <laughs> I would give ammo to that guy, but you know, he's just been on the same rooftop since the game started. So he's not getting ammo. No ammo for Another campers. If would come in, I would drop them. I'll drop you some ammo. The only Here thing weird about some of these mods is that suddenly you'll see like a city bus in the middle of the highway. In the middle of nowhere. It's kind of like, yeah, that doesn't seem... Like a normal occurrence. Holy okay, shit, yeah, that's a sports can... car and a half. Oh, ah, off. Okay. Fudge! What did you just do? I missed my turn. <laughs> <sighs> oh god. Alright, we'll just go this way. We'll go down through Dresden, Erfurt. That's okay. 
They have my gunship flag, but they don't have a gunship because they don't have a commander to put it up. <laughs> yeah, see, so that's... They lose out on the benefit of owning those flag points. Yeah. Though. It's weird. Come on, pal. Keep the momentum up. I gotta go here. Don't let me die. That guy's, that guy's gonna have to get off the roof if he wants my ammo. <laughs> see, I, I wish that there was a... Uh, that's one thing I've always liked about PC is how easy it is to do text chats, right? You can easily <laughs> issue commands or tell people those kind of things, whereas on Xbox you have to rely on voice communication. You have to rely on people hearing you and understanding you and, you know, a lot of people frankly turn that shit off because there's always yep. screaming kids or people who leave their connect zone by accident and... So I've, I've turned VoIP straight off. In Battlefield oh, cool. 4 on the Xbox, so... You had to mention this earlier. What? Oh, did it freeze? Yep. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry All that I fault. jinxed you. <laughs> I wonder how long it's going to take my GPS to catch up on that I'm taking a different route now. It's still telling me <laughs> to do a U-turn, and you can't do a U-turn here. We're just going to take Maybe a different route. Maybe there is route. no other way. Oh, no, there is. I looked at the map. You're screwed. Nope. It's all good. <laughs> we'll be fine. We just need the nav system to believe me. I can see the bigger picture. It's actually it's one cool. thing I... As you're passing the next thing that is, you're going to need to take. <laughs> it would be nice if you could actually alter the route on the GPS, you know, yeah, like, like... sort of button to, like... Reroute. Holy shit, that guy's speeding a lot. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could merge in front... Look at him go! Oh my god! What the fuck? I'm speeding a lot, and that guy's just he's in a race. He, he doesn't have gone. to go to the bathroom because he went right past that, so he's. Well, we are in Germany, so I shouldn't be surprised. That was crazy. He flew by. Did. Ah, see, now the GPS is updated. There we go. Good stuff. But it added on like two hours to the trip, apparently. Oh, good job. Yeah, well. You're kind of screwed here when you when you miss a turn. Most of these yeah. highways you can't turn around on whatsoever because they all have the crash barriers in the middle. Um, which is a little unrealistic because usually uh, in real life there'll be a gap every once in a while, you know, to allow yep. emergency vehicles to cross over and stuff like that. I think we got a speed camera up here. What's the speed limit? Ninety. So I think we're going to have to snooze soon-ish, but I want to keep driving a bit because I don't want to be driving through the night again. Here's another one of those nice vintage cars <laughs> in a hideous color, even though it's probably a classic say, it's color. Like a mint green. Yeah. Let's see, how much further can we go without resting two hours? Are we there yet? Nope. Are we there yet? Nope. Are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm not gonna miss this turn. We'll get in front of this that coach. That bus is gonna make you. No, he's not. Uh -huh. We're gonna ninja our way in here. He's gonna speed up all of a sudden to like the speed of that other car. <laughs> that could have happened. <laughs> I think he scared the guy in front of you a little. He looks a little nervous. He should be. <laughs> Next uh, next uh, rest stop we find, I think we're gonna. Oops, I just jumped a gear. Didn't mean to. <laughs> Why am I signaling still? Stop it. Extra safety. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that bus is gonna look, he's right next to me. There's people in the bus. See that? <laughs> Your lines plus. That's pretty cool. I, there actually definitely is more traffic on the roads, which makes it a lot more interesting to look you at. You want me to flash them? <laughs> <laughs> That's what good truck driving passengers do, isn't it? <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, definitely more traffic around. Which is cool, though. See, now you can see the the sort of fall colors on the right. And on the left, you can see it's much less green than the default textures. Which looks a lot like what it looks like outside here at the moment, actually. Yeah. So what's next for Battlefield 4? For you? I don't know. More commander mode? More TDM I mean, domination? Probably. We like to work on my sniping some more. Yeah, sniping is... Uh... I'm always so jealous of James. <laughs> well, he's, he's really good at it. Oh, shit! Oh, that's close. I don't know if sniping's easier than it was in BF3. Some people say it is. Maybe it feels a little, a little bit. bit easier for me. It feels like there's not as much of a drop. At a Bullet distance. drop, yeah. A little bit more straight on. Mind you, most of the sniping I feel comfortable doing is sort of medium short range, anyways. Like I can't put on yeah. a twelve times scope, and I get completely lost if I do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's been quite a few of them. It always looks like, like back there in the distance, it looks like rain. It's like there's going to be a lot of rain. I don't know if that ever comes true. I think it typically does, which is kind of neat. <sighs> yes, yes, we're getting sleepy. I just yawned. <laughs> I think I see a sign for a rest up. I do. Coming up in a few hundred meters. There's another truck taking glass panels. Oh, <laughs> uh, guys, oh. you're gonna have to let me merge, please. Please? Police! Asshole. <laughs> Blink around for a reason, you know. It's not there because I like the noise of it, the little clickety clack sound. May as well get gas, that's running really low as well, actually. Diesel. I keep being corrected. I keep saying gas, it's, you're so used to saying gas when you're driving cars all the time. Yeah. It's funny because the Brits they always say, we gotta get some petrol. I'm like, what? <laughs> <sighs> We can just say fuel. Yeah. It covers everything. A generic term. <laughs> That's what it says in the game, actually. Please press and hold the following key to fill the fuel tank. But it is a petrol <laughs> station. I hope there's room for us to park. Might be able to park right behind that blue truck over there. Oops. There we go. Let's see, yeah, there's a spot here. There's a Red Bull trailer. <laughs> nice. Let's go break in. <laughs> so why is it not letting me There we go. Parking brake on, engine off, and sleep. <laughs> 